in our previous video we have created this blog page and in this video basically i'm going to redesign this page and also i'm going to add a sidebar here if you take a look at the full side editing uh, theme then there is no sidebar there was sidebar with the previous version without the full site editing theme and currently it doesn't have any sidebar and you have to add sidebar so now if i want to add or if i want to use sidebar inside my blog page you can follow the same here so first of all you have to navigate to the uh, editor and then navigate to templates go to home and i'm going to edit the home page so i can remove everything from here or let's type here column paste it here and uh, i would like to use sidebar on the right side and would like to use this layout and if i click over here again here you can see the column is inside the header area this is not standard so i have to place the column between the header and footer right so close the header area and now as you can see the column is inside or uh, between the header and footer and below is the query loop i'm going to remove the query loop here because i will start insert the query loop or inserting the query loop scratch from here let's add some spacing first to add some space at the top and bottom so if you take a look closely the list view looks like this and the above there is a little space and i will add a space uh, below later on if it's necessary but as of now if i close it looks like this well and let's change the column to group view because we'd like to change the content width here let's change it to 1000 pixel and now inside the group let's add something let's add paragraph or this is text text for taste purpose i'd like to click on publish and reload the blog page and see how it works as you can see it looks like this it's completely blank and now what i'm going to do i'm going to add a page header for blog and then i'm going to create this blog page uh, more professionally so please note that uh, in this part i'll be going through a little bit faster than the previous two part for the blog page so please make sure you have follow the other previous part where i have explained everything in depth uh, step by steps so now just take a look at our reusable block and then drag and drop it the page header and make sure uh, you have placed it under the header area and then take a look if is there any uh, other settings well now it looks perfect so inside the content i can add opacity and overlay color change the title blog and we can add any uh, additional tagline here now open and see if it, the spacer is required or necessary we can remove it later on now let's click over here again inside the column i'm going to delete this one it's not necessary as of now so sometimes it's hard to navigate to the delete uh, or remove tab from here so what i'm going to do i'm going to select this one and press delete from my keyboard or i can remove from here well and now i'm going to click on plus icon browse all and if you scroll down simply here you can see all the options related to the theme so currently we are building a custom theme and we have to navigate here every single time when we are going to create header footer single page uh, archive page or any specific uh, page template from wordpress then uh, that is related to the theme then we have to navigate here every single time now currently i'm i would like to use the post item and that's why for the post 
we have to use a uh, dynamic if we if we want dynamic post then we have to use the query loop from here so in our previous two part i choose a uh, template and now in this part i'm going to use start blank and when i select a blank there is nothing so i can choose uh, for quick image date and title uh, for quick purpose i can choose this one and it looks like this well and um at the right side i can add sidebar let's add recent post or latest post so this is the latest post post sidebar let's add heading here or i can type here heading well somehow it doesn't work as expected let's remove again and first add heading and type here recent post after that uh, you can also take a column or you can create a group here for better experience so uh, you can also take a row as well but I'm, i'd like to use group and inside the group i'd like to drop the heading and for every single individual widget i'm going to use group here so that I can uh, make things uh, more neat and clean and useful for the future. So I can change the heading size to 24 pixel and make it semi bold. I can change the color. Even if you want, you can add a underline or border under the heading. Let's source here divider. Okay, blocks. So I'm not sure exactly why it looks like this. Okay, separator. And let's change the separator placement here. So currently um, there is no options to place I think uh, align center right now and uh, none so we can place it center or none but if I select wide line then it looks like this and under the heading I can reduce the space and if I choose or select heading then here you can see the typography and the dimension when I select dimension the margin will be appearing and I can add margin here I can set the margin 0 or I can unlink here uh, okay let's add 34 pixel so uh, currently there is no options uh, to adjust the margin as of now uh, or it doesn't work somehow because it's already added a margin here but uh, you have to satisfy or you have to uh, continue if you want to use the default theme because there are lots of limitation it's completely free and hopefully in the future i'll be creating uh, another video series tutorial uh, using a full uh, specific full site editing feature theme and that is created only for the full site editing features okay let's continue let's uh, add something here again okay it's sometimes it's hard to place something uh, let's type here recent post or latest post so currently there is uh, only few options for latest post and here you can see there is a uh, you can add display feature image and you can change the width and then you can change the placement here and there is nothing uh, fancy and there's very limitation uh, for this uh, latest post or recent post widget so you have to uh, use to or you have to uh, use uh, in this way as of now let's increase well it, it's now better than the previous version and 
add to link featured image then you can add category you can uh, choose the number display numbers so let's let's take a look at uh, our blog page and see how it looks now currently our blog page looks like this so we have successfully added our uh, sidebar inside our blog page and also we have uh, successfully created our uh, blog page uh, here and as you can see there is a uh, pagination and some other information let's uh, style this a little bit more and if I choose post template inside the post template as you can see everything is uh, individually uh, displaying here and they're not connected to each other so you can do whatever you want you can uh, make title a link and when I convert to the title into a link it's change the formatting it's change the size here or the font size I would say so I have I think you have noticed this one and that's the issue and if I change it to custom font or custom size it, it doesn't work it might be a little bug uh, with the current theme or the current versions hopefully WordPress will fix this uh, in the future let's change uh, color and other information here and add margin so this is uh, what we can do as of now and uh, there is uh, nothing more we can uh, change or we can add but we can add additional features like let's add okay um, excerpt post excerpt and we can add here well uh, remove post, post except I have to add uh, this excerpt inside here inside the template and under the title or I can add here later on I can move it under the title and read more link also uh, I can change the featured image uh, height here let's make it 300 or 200 50 would be perfect after that if you take a look at here it's a post on August so uh, basically it's a post date and I can add additional information here if I want to add admin categorize I can add them so let's make it beautiful and here you can see the options called row inside the row I would like to display the uh, post date and for this reason what I can do I can simply copy and then paste it here and remove the above post one and after that I can click over here and add another features called category or terms a post category or terms descriptions so let's add I think uh, I should add category here let's navigate to the theme and see uh, what kind of information is available so I can add author and then I can add a uh, author avatar so basically it's just a simple avatar here let's open it again and we can by default the avatar uh, will uh, take the avatar information automatically and uh, displaying here so if you added any avatar or any images inside your email address on avatar.com then it will be displaying here let's add the author name 
so I can simply place it here and remove the avatar easily but if you want you can use the avatar options from here as well and remove this one you can also change the placement of the content you can change the avatar size and hopefully it will be working as expected and now it looks uh, way much better if I save click on save changes and reload the page now it looks like this so using a little bit of CSS you can adjust the title as of now if I want to adjust the title I can simply change uh, the title from here font size 34 pixel and I have to add important let's choose anchor and now as you can see the title is uh, 34 pixel and it looks perfect now so we can copy this text from here copy and simply go to our customize and we can paste the text uh, inside our customizer so also as you can see there is a little bit uh, a placement uh, adjust the placement we need here with the admin and, and the date of the post so we can do it later on let's paste it here first and see if is there any options here to align middle everything and if it's working or not so currently it, it doesn't work and uh, we can remove this one or we can add, use uh, custom CSS and also here you can see I, I have changed the placement uh, here so this is the plus point when you're using the row layout here you can change the content layout to justify you can change the orientation here as well and it's very helpful it saves your time even uh, you can make it column uh, in a similar way so it's it's helpful and I really like this one So now it looks like this and I, I really like the features as of now we can add a custom CSS and we can add many more features in our next part I'll be uh, creating a single post page 